There's nothing more frustrating than when your lawn isn't green, and especially when it's not only not green, but it's sick looking. When my lawn looks sick, I feel sick myself. So it's, it's very frustrating, and a lot of times you don't know what's causing it. Big brown spots, you think you're watering it, and uh, it just isn't working. This is a video about that. What goes wrong with lawns that make them brown, particularly in big brown spots? We'll discuss it and tell you how to avoid that. I'm very interested in gardens like you're interested in gardens and being having that common interest, I think I'm pretty good at talking about things in these videos that will interest you and that are important to you and that may be plague your gardening efforts. Tune in to our channel and subscribe to it and uh, learn about all of the things that uh, I think you need to know to uh, be successful in gardening. I'm John Valentino with John and Bob's Corporation and uh, I'm a landscape architect and a landscape contractor and I'm here with Chip Valentino who's our vice president and fledgling groundsman and he and I are at a garden where we are attempting and I so far successfully curing lawn problems and lawn problems are uh, something I've been addressing for a lot of years now. We have them in our area in Fresno because it's very hot in the summer and this combination of too much water and too much heat makes big problems on turf. In this video we're going to tell you how to keep your lawn looking green even when it's hot. There's a recent video that you can tune into where we talk about gardening myths and I'll bring up another gardening myth right now which is if your lawn gets a fungus you should spray it with a fungicide. That in my opinion is a gardening myth because all that will do is uh, make sure you continue to get funguses for years to come. What happens is you get a fungus, you spray it with a fungicide, that fungicide takes a long time to kill the offending fungus and while killing the offending fungus, it kills all the good fungi that maybe have a chance of controlling the bad fungi. In general, good fungi are way stronger than bad fungi. So that little tip needs to be at the heart of your strategy. We focus on building life in the soil and building those good fungi and good uh, complex soil life in general, and that keeps your lawn healthy. Uh, so instead of uh, spraying a fungicide, we immediately go into a mode of boosting the lawn, boosting the health of the lawn and taking uh, measures to get rid of the cause and then uh, empower the soil. Really that's what um, our line of products is all about is empowering the soil. So if we can build life in the soil, that will make sure that you don't get on this treadmill of fungus, kill the fungus, wait for it to come back next year, it's hot again, we water a lot again, fungus comes back, kill it again. We don't need to be on that treadmill. We can do a self-sustaining cycle of lots of healthy fungi in the soil. Even if you water a little too much, they control uh, the bad fungus and your lawn stays healthy and green. The thing about spraying fungicides is they don't work immediately either. They, it's hard to see the benefit of them because uh, the lawn won't change, your lawn won't improve until conditions change dramatically, until temperatures cool down and you don't need to water as much and you get into a type of weather that your lawn likes better. So it doesn't work fast and it actually doesn't work at all. Instead, we want to build the soil and we want to build the soil with theme, things like our Maximize or things like a good quality compost, a good quality uh, compost tea. We want to build life in the soil. If we can build life in the soil, we can make it so uh, your lawn won't be subject to pest and disease and specifically not to uh, fungus. And so we immediately go into a mode where we apply large amounts of land, which has Maximize, Nourish Biosol, and optimize in it and all of those uh, build the soil and one of them is antifungal. Well, they're all a little bit an antifungal but particularly the Nourish Biosol is an antifungal product that's been tested um, quite extensively for being effective at 
preventing and defeating fungus in turf. So that's the goal. We're going to build this soil into something healthy uh, with lots of complex life and that will result in a soil that doesn't get a bad fungus and doesn't get those awful brown spots. Another way to guarantee that you'll continue to have uh, fungal problems every year in addition to spraying fungicide is using uh, synthetic products that damage the life in the soil and that is more likely to result in the same kind of uh, fungus year after year and sometimes when you see start seeing brown spots you respond by fertilizing it and that isn't going to help in fact that's going to make a fungus worse uh, usually so what we want to do is we want to find a product and there's more than one but obviously I like ours the best uh, it's called Nourish Biosol and it's a product that is antifungal. It's uh, been tested to be very successful in preventing and defeating uh, fungus in turf and feeds the plant at the same time and feeds the soil. So while being antifungal, it builds life in the soil and that life is our hope for preventing and defeating these diseases in the future. So that one product is probably the one I'd use the most of. Uh, the lawn that we're at today, we employed that uh, as well as some of the other products we'll discuss. But the Nourish Biosol is the mycelium, uh, so it's the bloom of cultured cottonseed meal and soybean meal. And that mycelium is excellent at feeding soil, attracting life to soil, and feeding the lawn at the same time. And since it's antifungal, I immediately use it when I suspect uh, a fungal problem has happened or is about to happen. Have you had problems with a brown lawn or a green lawn with brown spots? If you have, let us know in the comments. I think we can solve them for you or we can at least give it a good try. So in addition to agreeing that we're not going to use a fungicide and we're going to build our soil like crazy, you want to really analyze what caused the problem and the real source of the problem is a combination of high temperatures and too much moisture and it's understandable that you might overwater because you're burdened with this tremendous heat maybe it's over 100 degrees and you're thinking my lawn's suffering and so you you water more than usual and if you combine too much heat with too much water those are perfect conditions for fungal disease and once that fungal disease starts very difficult to stop. It kind of just multiplies in leaps and bounds and makes you sick to your stomach when you look at this what's supposed to be a green lawn and these very brown spots all over it. So one of the main things to do is if you're using supplemental water, in other words if you have an irrigation system or you have a sprinkler or somehow you're applying water, really analyze and try to figure out the soil, the proper soil moisture in that soil and make it so you're delivering the least amount of water as possible to that lawn, even when it's hot. We, want it, we don't want it to dry up, but we want it to only have enough water to stay green and not any more water than it needs because an excess of water combines with that heat and creates these conditions, perfect conditions for uh, fungus. So that's really uh, what you need to think a lot about and explore a lot is how can I water the least possible and have everything look good. That really applies to almost every crop, but particularly when we're talking about fungal disease in turf. This is a lawn uh, that the owner described to me last year in about uh, June. Uh, she said that every year she gets fungal disease and she can just count on it and she doesn't really know what to do about it. So what we did is immediately applied large amounts of our blend. We used a penetrate liquid biotiller, that's a beneficial bacteria. And we used a little bit of our um, antifungal uh, called citrol blast. Uh, but mostly we focused on blend and nourish biosol, large amounts in the whole lawn, but particularly where these spots were, are or were, we'll show you what they looked like last year in about July. We took this video in July. And, and then we just kept feeding it every month or two to try to improve those spots. Now this year, it looks great and those spots are gone, 
But that doesn't mean that there won't be a problem again. Uh, this time of the year, her lawn always looks great, uh, but the test is coming in the summer. So when we get into June, we'll see if our treatments are working. And what our treatments are is large amounts of products to build life in the soil. So we're using a lot of Nourish Biosol, which is an antifungal and builds life and is good, is a fertilizer for the turf, and lots of blend, that combination of Optimize, Maximize, and Nourish Biosol. We're using both of those products, and I'm using more of it where I know the bad spots were. And then as we get into right now, I'm applying straight uh, Nourish Biosol to those spots and to the lawn in general because I want that lawn to be as strong and healthy as possible. A strong, healthy lawn can uh, defeat any pest and disease and I want it to be full of antifungal and antifungal product like Nourish Biosol and I want the soil to be as healthy as possible in those spots. So we're, we're feeding real heavily now because the lawn loves this time of year. So my strategy is get that lawn strong, address the bad spots where we think problems could come and we'll show you what happens. We'll see uh, how successful our treatment is. So if you want your lawn to be in the best possible position to fight any p possible uh, fungal problem in the future or even any pest and disease, infuse it with life. Infuse it with beneficial bacteria, beneficial fungi, good protozoa, good nematodes. That leads to all kinds of other life, including earthworms. And that's how you have a lawn that doesn't need much else other than proper water and proper mowing. If you're interested in that uh, delightful sounding prospect, go to our website at johnandbobs.com and check out our products. If you want to learn more about these products that make this lawn look this good, um, you can look at some other videos that we've done. We've done uh, specific videos on how to apply Nourish Biosol, how to apply Maximize, how to apply Blend, uh, they all are important. You'll learn more about the product and learn what they can do for uh, a lawn like this and a lawn that has problems.